to open core or not to open core. If you've got a Mac Pro 4,1 flash to a 5,1 or a 5,1 Mac Pro already running something like Mojave, I'm going to show you why you want to use open core and not only that, how to install it. Stay tuned. Okay, if you're going to attempt to install OpenCore on your 5.1 system, there's a couple of things that you're going to need. First off, I would really recommend using a Mac video card. I know you're going to probably have to take your Radeon out of it um, and put this Mac video card in there, but it's going to make the whole process a bit easier, especially when you're wanting to disable SIP. Um, I'm using the Radeon ATI Radeon HD 5770, um, but any of the Mac flashcards should work for that. You'll also need a wired keyboard. So on boot, you can press Command R after you power up the system before it chimes. Hold it until after the chime until you get the boot screen. You do that with the uh, HD 5770. The last thing that you can try is an installation on a USB for Mojave. So what you just go do is in the system preferences, do your startup, choose the USB as your installer, choose that as your startup disk. You'll have to re-choose the Mojave install um, when you're in the recovery, but you can try that. I've had mixed settings on this. Sometimes it dis disables SIP for the whole systems, and sometimes it doesn't, but you can try that if you don't have a Mac flash card. So let's go ahead and get into recovery, and then we'll start from there. Okay, once you've rebooted and you've been holding down the command R, when you press the power, uh, just after you press the power button, you wait up for the OSX to uh, boot into the recovery mode and the utilities. You'll want to go ahead and just go ahead and click on utilities, terminal. Once the terminal opens up, we want to go ahead and type in this command and I'll put it down in the uh, bottom of the description of the video, but it is C S R U T I L disable. Okay, once we do that, we can go ahead and reboot the system because now we've successfully disabled the system integrity protection. Okay, you want to make sure that you get that taken care of. That's one of the integral parts of doing the open core. Um, just got to make sure that this is something that you want to do. Uh, make sure that you do investigate on your own open core. Give you that warning right straight up front. Uh, this could possibly, I'm not saying it will, but it could possibly make a machine not boot correctly. Make sure that you have a backup of the system. You definitely want to make sure that you have time machine backup as well as an installation sitting around somewhere if this is your primary machine and it's the only thing that you use. So definitely be careful with that warning. I'm not going to say you need to do this. This is entirely up to you on what you want to do. But after this, we go ahead and proceed and just reboot the system back to the original installation. Okay, here we are at the desktop. There's a couple of things you can see right now. This is just a plain vanilla Mojave install on a an NVMe that's on a the PCIe bus on a PCIe card. The NVMe is the Mojave HD, uh, the hard drive right there. It's showing as an external. Bootcamp or Windows is also showing as an external. It's on a, a, the same PCIe card, but it's going to be a SATA SSD hard drive, but it's still showing as an external. So the other thing that we're wanting to find out or we're wanting to change here is if we go into video proc, we can tell right here that we don't have any H.264 hardware encoding 
or HEVC hardware encoding. It's not available in VideoProc. So we are running a an RX 580 in the first slot. It's the 8 gigabyte version. It's the actually the ASUS Dual Radeon RX 580 8 gigabyte OC edition. Things that you will get with the package from Martin Lowe. If you go out to the Facebook page for Mac Pro Upgrade Group, just a great bunch of people that are just be willing to help you with everything. But the person that we're looking for is Martin Lowe and his open core package. And right now I'm going to be using 0.5.8. He has upgraded it to 0.5.9 on the release. I'm using the NDK boot picker. He has changed the boot picker to another boot picker right at the moment. And I think if memory serves correctly, the GUID boot picker is going to be open canopy on the 5.9 package that he's using, but right now I'm using the 5.8. He's also out on MacRumors.com as H982790 is his username. Also, you can find him on YouTube, and he's got an, another video on how to do the open core, but there's also the link to his open core packages as well and his username is man tat low so let's go ahead and get started in on this the first thing we want to do is open up a terminal to double check and make sure that the sip has been disabled as in the previous part of this and what you just want to do is type in cr or CSRUTIL status. Once it comes back here and it shows you as disabled, you can go ahead and continue on. You want to make sure that SIP is disabled. That is just absolutely imperative for this to work. Once you've got the open core package downloaded, you can go ahead and unzip it. You'll get an open core package with the Bless, the Clover Configurator, and an EFI. In there you've got the boot and the OC just go ahead and right click the Clover configurator and open we'll just go ahead and let it open there Clover configurators open we want to go ahead and click on mount EFI and once it comes up you you're gonna have multiple different EFI's what you're gonna to want to do is mount your actual hard drive so mine's the Mojave HD. I'm going to mount that partition. Now there have been some warnings and everything else about putting open core actually on an NVMe and not only that running the heart the OS on the NVMe by itself but I'm running it that way right now. I am going to be cha transferring the whole system over actually reinstalling Mojave and doing a restore from backup to get that on an SSD instead of the NVMe and start using the NVMe scratch drive. It's going to ask you for your password. Go ahead and put that in. It went ahead and mounted the EFI. You can either open the partition from here or you can just open the EFI right here. Once you've got the EFI open, you may or may not have the Apple and the boot in there, but what you want to do is just go ahead and you'll want to take the open core file and the boot file and drop it into your EFI hard drive. Once you do that, you want to go ahead and right click, bless open core, and open. Don't double click because it won't do everything properly. It'll ask you for your password. You go ahead and put that in, and that's it. After you blessed OpenCore, rebooted the system, you should be presented with the boot picker. So you can see on this one, we've got Uninstall Mac OS, Windows, we've got the EFI, and Mojave HD. We're going to choose Mojave HD and reboot. Okay, now we, once we get back into the operating system, you can now see that the NVMe drive and the SSD drive are now showing as internal. Video proc, emulator, settings, options. Now we can refresh. 
both the H264 and the HEVC, and we can see that HEVC is now enabled as well too. DaVinci Resolve or anything else like that, now you can scrub through 4K video as well as rendering video RX 580 I was able to get 33 frames per second but I only had a couple of different effects and things going on with the last one but with DaVinci Resolve editing videos is much faster. Resolve uses metal and will use the RX 580 to its fullest capabilities we can show in CPU usage and GPU usage how much it actually uses, utilizes the CPUs versus the GPU. Get this open and what we can do is we can just go straight into the render and we're gonna go ahead and do and save it in the same one and we're just going to use QuickTime H264 we're going to use the Ultra HD resolution for that and add to render queue go ahead and start rendering and you can watch as the GPU utilization increases and we're running anywhere between 32 30 to 32 frames per second on the render and that's going to be at that quality of Ultra HD. So pretty darn good. And you can see that the GPU usage is pegged out. And the CPUs aren't even being really utilized at all. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe. Talk to you later.